Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new Notes app in Mountain Lion. So Notes may be the simplest app on your entire Mac. Basically, it allows you to create these little text files and stores them all inside the Notes app. And the biggest thing that it does is it syncs that between your Macs and any iOS devices using your same Apple ID. So here's what it looks like. You probably have it down here in your dock once you install Mountain Lion. Um, and it's a very simple app. It has several different configurations. You can change it down here. Uh, you can see I can switch to one where it doesn't have the left sidebar and open up the left sidebar there. Left sidebar is useful because not only do you have folders but you have different services where you can store notes. But we'll get to that in a second. Here in this list you've got your list of notes and you can flip through them. To create a new note, just press the plus button here and then start typing. And you can put lots of different things in the note, uh, continue to type with it. You can style a text if you want, uh, just like in other apps. Command T will bring up the text formatting right there, and you could set fonts and sizes and all this. And it has some, some formatting options available here under Format as well. Uh, you can create, for instance, uh, bullet lists. Uh, things like that that could be useful inside of notes. And you could switch between these notes. There's no saving or anything like that. As soon as you type something it's saved. So you can go into a note, uh, type something, uh, quickly switch to another note, go back and everything you did on that first one is saved and it's there. And you can also quit at any time and all the information is saved. Now for the individual note uh, you have some functions at the bottom. The trash can which will delete a note. Uh, you can also control click here and go to delete. Um, and you've got a share button, which just right now allows you to share, uh, send this note as an email or as a text message uh, using the Messages app. So it's really important to pay attention to is exactly where your notes are kept. So you can see here on the left, uh, it says iCloud, and then I have a folder called Notes. I can actually hit this plus button here and create another folder, and you can see um, uh, To Do Items. I wanted to create, and I've got a folder of To Do Items and a folder of Notes, and all iCloud will give me all of those combined into one. Now iCloud tells me these are all stored on my iCloud account. I can add other accounts by going to Notes, Accounts. And then what this is going to do is it's going to launch System Preferences and take me to my user accounts here. And I can see I have my different user accounts. And some of them will support Notes and some won't. So for instance iCloud will support Notes of course. And also Gmail and Exchange will support Notes as well. So if you go into your Gmail account you can select to have Notes turned on which means that you'll now have another option here inside of Notes. You can see I've got iCloud and I've got Gmail and under Gmail I can also create uh, new folders as well. So it's very important when you do this to make sure that you've selected the correct folder when you create a new note. If for instance I were to be here in Gmail and I hit the plus button to create a new note under my notes folder in Gmail. That would not then sync with my other devices that are just using iCloud. It would only sync with the devices that are also using that same Gmail account using uh, the notes syncing having that turned on as well. So you want to pay special attention to that. And also occasionally you, it's not on by default and there's no real way to force it to go on. But occasionally you'll have an on my Mac section here as well. One way I notice to force that is to uh, try to drag. I can drag a note here. It's in my Gmail. I can drag it to iCloud and it will now move that note there in there. And sometimes doing that will actually create an on my Mac temporary folder there which uh, won't contain anything. So if you see on my Mac here that means they're locally stored and not stored in the cloud. And you probably don't want to use that. Another time you'll see on my Mac is if you delete both of these uh, so you have no other accounts, then you can only store notes on your Mac. And they won't sync with any services. They just exist on your Mac. One cool thing you can do with notes is you can bring them out into their own window. So for instance, I can double tap that and I get this window here that just contains the note. It doesn't have the sidebar or anything else. So that could come in handy because you could move that here and then create, say, uh, another one and have multiple notes available on the screen. Um, which can come in handy if you're working on a project and you have some information about that project in a note. So that's it. That's all Notes does. The most important thing it really does is to sync with your iOS devices. And it would sync with other devices as well. For instance if you're using Exchange or Gmail and you have a device that supports Notes with Exchange and Gmail it would sync with that. So the most important thing is that you can actually jot down some information while working on your Mac and then have it later on through the cloud 
uh, on your iPhone or vice versa. So it's a very easy way to exchange information or to have information at your fingertips anytime you want it. You can copy and paste into notes. You can even drag and drop files and images into notes. And uh, of course if the other device you're using supports that and the server you're using supports that, that should sync across too. It would with iCloud for instance. So I don't see this as being like a major new feature that everybody must use. I can see it being handy for a lot of folks as it can be useful to quickly store a bit of information and have it available on another device later on. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.